we begin this screencast with this equality. It says the slope of a least square line equals the standard deviation of the dependent variable divided by the standard deviation in the independent variable times the correlation coefficient between the dependent and the independent variable. Although the relationship is easy to derive, we'll simply state it. It'll be your responsibility to know how to use it. There are two corollaries to the relationship written down here. The first corollary says the slope and the correlation coefficient must always both be positive or both negative. That is, they must have the same plus or minus sign. This is obvious from the relationship because the quotient of two standard deviations must be positive since each standard deviation itself must be positive. Therefore, the only way this left hand side can equal the right hand side, since this quotient is positive, is for the slope and the correlation coefficient to have the same sign. Since a correlation coefficient is always between minus 1 and plus 1, in absolute value it's always less than or equal to 1. Therefore, the absolute value of the slope can never be any larger than the quotient of the standard deviation of the dependent variable divided by the standard deviation of the independent variable. That statement is this second corollary. The last items introduced are related to unexplained variation in simple linear regression. The first definition is of residual variance. The residual variance s sub yx squared is equal to the sum of square error divided by its degrees of freedom n minus 2. Note the 2. The last and final definition is the residual standard deviation, SYX. It's equal to the square root of the residual variance.